Howdy folks! I'm sorry that I had to cancel class because my kiddos aren't feeling well and we just need to be resting, um, but I thought I'd make a video to review what was going to happen in class tonight to clarify a few things and also help motivate you and remind you about time management and all that's coming up in week six. But before we jump into week six, let's check over last week. Last week we had three different discussions online. One of them was talking about um, obstacles and opportunities. Another one was going over Plato's allegory of a cave, which we were so lucky to be able to have time to read together in class, which was awesome. <laughs> and then the last one is Paulo Freire's banking concept of education. If you're still needing to do those, they are currently open right now, but get on that because we are jumping into week six. In week six, we will be exploring the minds of four great thinkers. We have Amy Tan, who wrote a book called The Opposite of Fate. She's written many books, <laughs> lots of fiction books based on her actual life. The story that we're reading is called Fish Cheeks, and it talks about her Chinese American experience. It's beautiful, it's a one pager. Um, we'll also be looking this week at Martin Luther King's letter from Birmingham Jail. As you probably know, Martin Luther King was an amazing rhetorician, speaker, very intelligent and very motivational for people as he fought for civil rights um, in the 60s and 70s and on and onward. Um, we also have Bruce Lee's philosophies. We have two texts from Bruce Lee. We have Striking Thoughts and we also have the art of, um, oh, the, sorry, the Tao of Jeet Kune Do. There are samples of each of those readings in your packet, so you can check those out. And then the last reading on here is called How to Tame a Wild Tongue by Gloria Anzaldúa. She was, in her day, one of the top um, queer Chicana feminist scholars, a poet, um, a critical theorist. Um, and so here she presents her own experience uh, with language really beautiful perspective that she offers us. Um, so actually all of these readings are in our packet, so be sure to annotate as you're reading. You can take notes, you can highlight golden lines, but really connect. That's what part of what we're doing in this class is just training ourselves to engage in the reading in a very active way. That way when you walk away from having read it, you feel like you've connected, like you're engaged, like you're like you are have taken away something hopefully inspiring and beautiful from it. And also we're looking um, at the rhetoric and the stylistic choices of these writers. You know, the best way to become a great writer is to read great things. Um, Natalie Goldberg says to read great books and great books will come out of you. And it's a pretty sound theory if you think about it. And so we have four examples of really amazing thinkers. We're looking, um, we're, we get a peep into their mind by looking at their writing. And that's a wonderful thing. So again, they're all in your packet. I encourage you to have that out. They're also listed um, in the um, discussions, of course, but it's important to be able to annotate it as you're reading. That is week six, folks. If you're looking into the future here, week seven and eight will follow the same protocol as we did for essay number one. Now we're gonna be shifting over into essay number two with our writing process and the prompt and our workshop, and then eventually our, um, our final drafts, which will be graded. And so that's what's happening for the next three weeks. If you are still working on essay one, 100%, you need to wrap it up, folks, and turn it in. Um, and you can get graded on it. And then if you're unhappy with your grade or you would like to revise it, I 100% support you revising it. Remember, writing is a process and we're adopting that mindset. We don't just sit down and create something beautiful and then never look at it again. We create something beautiful and we go back in and we revise and edit and change and grow our, our ideas with having a little bit of space and critical distance from it for a time. And so remember, if you're still working on discussions from week five, get that done. And then essay number one will officially lock on September 23rd. So look at your schedule, see what your week looks like, um, carve out those spaces of time for homework, and just try something new with your schedule. If you already have your study schedule set and it's working for you, don't mess with it. But for those of us out there that are still working on procrastination, right, the killer of the writer, along with distractions, um, which are pretty much the same thing, <laughs> then please, please experiment and carve out that space. This is for you. Your education is for you. It's for you to help make the world a better place. No pressure, but you got this. Have a great week six. 
please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to hop on to um, our Getting Started module and the Porch Talk and post a question there. We can have discussions there, um, and it's a really awesome space for us to continue sharing ideas. Have a wonderful week six. I will miss you this week. Um, I'm also available by text or email if you need any support. Bye.